I've been listening to people tell me I wasn't going to do anything with my life. Mike is a complicated individual. He looked like he could kill somebody. Mike Tyson was called the baddest man on the planet because he was the baddest man on the planet. I was terrified by that brother. He was a money-making machine. I never knew what Tyson I was going to get. His was the most recognizable face on the planet, more than the Pope, more than Queen Elizabeth, more than the president. There were three black men who ruled the world during this time. It was Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, and it was Mike Tyson. And everybody wanted to be Mike. The only question was, which Mike do you want to be? <laughs> when you think about Mike Tyson in the ring, he was unbeatable. But outside the ring... The only person that defeated him was him. I think Mike Tyson's love-hate relationship with his public is the perfect American tragedy. Robin Givens. He really, really was in love with her. He went bananas. Everyone's like, oh, it's going to work because opposites attract. Yeah. Robin, does he hit you? He shakes. He pushes. He, um, he swings. And then the unexpected happened. His life started to spiral out of control. It's a tragic narrative. I couldn't stop crying. This is this man's life. The obsession remains. It seems that he is unstoppable. It seems that he is forgiven for his crimes. A Hollywood star. This is the male American dream. If you could talk to the 20-year-old Mike, what would you say to him? It's going to hurt. It's gonna hurt bad, it's gonna really hurt. Look at me. Now, new details, stunning new interviews. The climb, the crash, and the comeback. Mike Tyson, as you have not seen. Boom! Welcome to Mike Tyson's world. The staggering documentary event premieres Tuesday night, May 25th on ABC and next day on Hulu.